annual Science Fair Spectacular. The scientists have been working hard at testing their hypothesis and forming conclusions. We have with us today the band, Sounds of Science. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Galileo explained earlier that the sounds we hear are vibrations creating waves. Fascinating, just fascinating. Do you mean the sounds we hear are like waves in the ocean? Ah, most noble friend, consider this. When we play upon our instruments, we set forth a vibration, much like a tremor in the firmament. This motion stirs the very air itself, and thus what reaches thine ears are but the waves of these vibrations coursing through the heavens. Are you saying that when we play instruments, a vibration is created that travels through the air, so what you hear are vibration waves? Indeed, my clever companion. Dost thou know that in the vast reaches of space, there is no sound to be heard? For in that great void, there exists no medium, neither air nor water, through which these waves of vibration might pass, and thus silence reigns supreme amidst the celestial spheres. Do you mean there is no sound in space because there is no medium such as air or water through which the waves can travel? Precisely. Judges, I think it's time we surf on over to the next entry. While the judges are judging, follow us to meet some more of the contestants. So, Albert Einstein, we've seen you several years in a row. Here you must be very talented in science. I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. Tell us about your project. It's about the first step in scientific method. Oh, what could that be? Imagination. I thought it was a question or purpose. Well, sure, but before you can question something or have a 
purpose statement, you must use your imagination. Where would all these scientists be if they didn't have the imagination to think beyond what is accepted? Imagination is everything, uh, is the preview of life's coming attractions. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Dr. Bose has to show us today. Water. That doesn't seem very imaginative. Oh wait, I get it. It must be some special water that enables you to see through time or something. Oh no, it's not just any plain water. But like my friend Einstein says, I believe in making things as simple as possible, but not si simpler, you see, Water is the perfect example of something that can exist in the three basic states of matter. I think I'm in a state of confusion right now. Of course, there is also a fourth state of matter, plasma, which is the most unbunt state of matter in the universe. But I theorize though, oh, cause stars are plasma. I theorize though, there's also a fifth state of matter. So why didn't you demonstrate your fifth state of matter? I would need a state-of-the-art laboratory in order to create the conditions necessary in order to create, in order for the state to exist. You, but water, <laughs> is wonderful because you can easily demonstrate the changes between solid, liquid, and gas. You can melt it, freeze it, evaporate it, and you can condense it. Water does it all. Oh, wonderful. Water can be a solid one in the form of ice, a liquid one in the form of regular water, and a gas one in the form of steam or water vapor. I get it. The number of state of matter is in flux right now, but the ones that we can rely on are solid, liquid, and gas.
Wait, no, it's Logan. Because he... make eye contact. Maybe they'll just go away. We can't just ignore them all day. Maybe we should go talk to them. I'll handle this. Hello, protesters. We come in peace. We don't want to cause any problems either. We just want Pluto back. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. The International Astronomical Union has made its decision, and they made it based on solid evidence. We aren't saying Pluto isn't important, it's just that it isn't technically a planet. But it's always been a planet. It never did anything wrong. It hasn't even completely full rotation around the sun since its discovery. How can they go and change things like that? It's not fair. Yeah, how can they do that? It's not fair. Save Pluto! Yeah, yeah. save Pluto! Calm down, calm down. Does it really matter what we call it? It doesn't matter if we call it a planet or a pl Pluto. It'll always be the same. Or a Petunia. It'll always be the same Pluto we know and love. We love Pluto!
Ah, Isaac Newton, and what project do you have to share with us today? Mm, great apple. Want one? About the project? Oh, yes. Well, I'm doing some work on motion. I've heard you establish free laws of motion. Yes, let me demonstrate. Here, have a seat. Gladly, thank you. As you can see, the chair is in rest, but if I exit force the chair on the chair, then the chair will stay in motion in, in motion until it acted up by the outside force. Start of line. That's the first law of motion. I think you should be the first outlaw of motion. Would you like to see the second and third law? No, please, no! No, I think that's enough for today, but thank you for the demonstration. Well, okay, if you are sure, if you are looking for me, I will be a, an object at rest under the apple tree out back. Have a nice time. I hope an apple falls on his head.
We have all now seen, seen, we have now seen all the entries for this year's science fair. Congratulations to all of this year's scientists. After our competition, we have come to the conscious that all of this year's scientists tied for first place. But the real winner is mankind, because we get to experience all the wisdom these great minds have shared with us. Thank you, and see you at next year's Science Fair Spectacular. Um, parents, uh, grandparents, whoever is taking care of these third graders, it is your choice. If you're going to grab them now, they will be found in my classroom, which is that direction. If you're hanging around to watch fourth grade, you will not be disappointed. Just uh, let them hang out in my classroom then with, the, um, with their teachers because we just don't have enough space for them in here. What a fabulous problem to have. Um, following tonight's program, as we have grown accustomed to, uh, we will be having um, some snacks and beverages in the commons that is provided again this year by the Booster Club and we want to say a huge thank you to the Booster Club for providing that. As you are headed that direction, please remember that we will take only one cookie to begin with so that all of our friends can have a cookie and that is for most of the people in here that are shorter than me. Uh, thank you so much. Fourth grade will be on in just a moment. We're going to kind of let things settle down in here, and then you have a great evening. Thanks for joining us.
right. I'm exhausted. What is that creature on the water spout? Miss Muffet, that isn't hard to figure out. I think I'll have a seat right here beside her. You see, Miss Muffet, it's a little spider. A spider? Ah! That's because it shows about what makes you squirm. And over there, Slither is a snake. And the bats in the belfry will soon be awake. Goodness, next thing I know, you'll show me a worm. That's because it shows about what makes you squirm. I know what you're thinking, I see it in your eyes. We're used to it by now, it's no big surprise. You're thinking, my goodness, they look rather grimy. Oh my, aren't they slippery, slithery, and slimy. And you'd be right, most of the terms you see, ladies and gentlemen, we all the worms. But before you faint or even say you, give us a chance and let us sing for you. We do. We do. We do lots of good things. Believers are not, so let us remind you in case you forgot.
kick it up a notch. Worms don't kick, remember? Well, yeah, then let's just sing it up a step. Okay, okay, worms okay. It's spiders that give me the creeps anyway. Oh yes, oh yes. I know what you mean. Spiders are the scariest I've ever seen. Some are big, some are small. As for me, I'm afraid of them all. Please, anyone, can somebody hide me? Whenever I subside or a spider sits down beside me. You better keep moving, that's all I can say, because a web full of spiders is on their way.
Well, that's the most beautiful spider web I've ever seen. For being spiders are remarkably clean. You see, spiders can do a lot of good. It's good to have us in your neighborhood. We eat lots of bugs in order to grow. I'm a daddy long leg, so I ought to know. Oh, boo hoo hoo! Oh, boo hoo hoo! What's the matter with her? She had a rough time. And who are you? I'm the hobo spider, can't you tell? What was that? Brown recluse, he's very shy. You see, we spiders are really quite handy, nasty bugs. To us, are like cotton candy. Well, I guess you spiders might as well stay. I just hope a snake doesn't come our way. Ah, uh, a snake. Run for your lives. Don't be silly. I wouldn't hurt you. I'm a friendly snake. And a good friend to you. A friend? I don't think so. You sneak all around. You're up in a tree or low on the ground. And I can tell you're ready for battle. I see your tail is made up of a rattle. It's true, it's true, it's what snakes do. But we do a lot of good, so let me sing to you. So I guess snakes are good cause they eat mice and rats. But look out! Here comes the bats! Whoa, who turned on the lights? Don't you know? I only work nights. When the sun comes up, I sleep in the gut gutter or sometimes behind your window shutter. 
Bats like us can really go far, especially when we use our best sonar. Look, guys, I'm staring and losing my power. I've got to eat like 300 bucks an hour. We make people... Yeah, let's get flying. It's almost morning. The sun will come up without, without any warning. We make people squirm, but a bat's a good thing. Especially about who is willing to sing. Sing! It's a musical, remember? Oh, yeah! Hit it, maestro. <laughs> Buster Bat, what's the first thing bats learn in school? Okay, Bella Bat, what is the first thing bats learn in school? The alphabet. Things that make us squirm are sometimes good. I'm glad there's bats in my neighborhood. Snakes, spiders, worms, bats, we need them all now, how about that? Next time I'll take a rest here on my tuffet, I'll say, come little spider, sit with Miss Muffet. Thank you, ma'am, that's very nice of you, but I've got something I've got to do. Look, she's going to try again. Look, I think she's gonna make it this time. Come on, Itzy, you can do it. She did it, she did it, she made it to the top. Yay! Things that make us squirm can be okay. So let's wiggle and giggle and squirm all day.
Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. That is the conclusion of our program. Fourth grade families, please pick up your students in the gymnasium.